Okay, in video number three, we're going to deal with the speaker that we created in the assembly in video number two and figure out how to get it to fit into the shell, create a little baffle. The first thing is the top of the shell, shell is curved, so we need to strike a curve something like that. I use the sharp end of the calipers. Yes, this will dull them. If need be, I'll use two different sets of calipers, one to do the abuse this way and one to work that way. Now you can see the line on the plastic. Uh, I'm going to cut it out fairly carefully with scissors, trim it up, and then use an emery board to um, adjust it so that when it, it looks just right in the shell, that it fits fairly closely. We'll use caulk to uh, uh, finish the seal, but it's nice the closer it is. You could probably use just a straight edge and the caulk would fill it, but I like to be a little more precise than that. Now we'll duplicate this with a second piece of plastic. Use the one as a form to cut out the second one and file it till uh, it with the emery board until it uh, looks just right. Clean it up a little bit. Make sure that it's all good. The next thing after we make sure that they both look good will be to cut them to the necessary length to seal between the speaker and the shell in the direction that we want to. We'll figure out just exactly how much we want to have protrude down there, then use the scissors just to make a little mark, just a little nip in the plastic so we know how far it is. If you're only doing one, you can just cut it. If you're doing multiples, you might want to set the fence so that you can repeat the dimension. Here we check out the one that we cut works for us. Now I'm going to use the piece that I've already cut to set the um, fence and duplicate the second one. Do it either way, whatever works for you. Uh, we get the second one cut here. There you go. And now we glue them onto the speaker. I've tried using some sort of tooling to do this and I find out that the best thing to do is just to hold it and drop a dop of MEK, a drop of MEK on it. it. Sets up fairly quickly and when you're done you see how well this will fit right into the shell.